Hi, Brandon. Hi, Matt. <clears throat> thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks, uh, today, Coach. today uh, uh, was a nice response to be able to come back to bounce back and get two wins. Today was big for our team. Uh, I enjoyed watching Mac Bozel hit some more doubles. I'm so proud uh, that she was able to set the career double record over the weekend, and she added some more uh, to her hat uh, today, which was great. Um, you know, I think I appreciate Patrick keeping track of all our records. So drawing 10 walks in the first game, I thought that was big for us to come and have some discipline at the plate uh, and make our opportunities count in game one. And then certainly in game two, um, I thought Leah Powell did a great job on the mound, keeping them off the base paths. And then Cass came in with the big uh, grand slam to, to finish the game. So I thought it was a nice response. Hey, Bev, um, just going off the 10 walks you mentioned uh, Sunday at the end of the Arkansas game, you weren't quite happy with the approach there in the bottom of the seventh. Uh, what was kind of your message in the last 24, 48 hours to, you know, be a little bit more patient at the plate? Well, you know, truthfully, just the way time works is we haven't had a chance to practice. It was a day off yesterday. Uh, we did COVID testing and then um, back today with a double header. So we haven't had a chance to work on uh, physical things that we want to talk about. Um, but we talked about the mental side today and the, just the response and what it means um, for us to come back and the level we want to be at. Um, so we're really attacking uh, the mental side for us. And I think that could be a difference maker. Coach, going off of that, you know, we get we just watch from the outside. You guys obviously live it and it's so much more, so much different. How difficult is it after a tough weekend no practicing, like you said, to come out and try and rebound with wins. I mean, how hard is that? <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's tough. I tell you, um, the weekend, you know, with uh, the time change and just the intensity of all three of those games this weekend, I know the team is was tired. I'm I'm tired, but that was the part about the mental challenge for us. We've got to we've got to come back and be ready to play. It isn't always sunny in seventy. And um, you don't always get eight hours of sleep and your body's not always feeling great. And I think all those things were true. And we had to, we had to fight through those things today to come back and respond. And that was really my message is we need a response here today. Have you always talked about, you know, this team doesn't fight, uh, getting down in the first inning in game one, uh, just kind of how have you guys been able to get that mindset so early in the season? Well, we're a group of competitors. Our team's going to compete until the last out. Now, I tell you something, giving up runs in the first inning is something we need to be better about. Um, how we start, I think we've been slow to start. So that's something we certainly need to work on, uh, work on from a pitching uh, and a defensive standpoint. Um, but I tell you, our offense, uh, we don't have any quit and uh, we'll be swinging until the last out. In game two there, um, three hit by pitches to load the bases. Have you ever kind of seen that in your coaching career before? I don't think I've seen that before. And if I have, I've forgotten. I've been doing it so long. But um, but I'm, I'm glad we were able to capitalize there. Um, just uh, I kind of asked uh, Cassidy Group at this, but, you know, Bailey Bentonball, we've talked a lot about her. Carson Oaks, great performance today. With their freshman years cut short, how do you think like they're adjusting in their second year with their, like I mentioned, their first year cut short? Yeah, I, I think, I mean, our, we have a growth mindset here and I think our pitchers have continued to, to grow and develop. Uh, they, they didn't get a lot of the sec uh, type play last year, but, uh, but they got, they got innings and, uh, and I think we're going to continue to improve every time they get out there. And I think you'll, they'll be fun to watch. Mm -hmm. Champ. Champ is here with us. You want? Did you see his mohawk? I did not. I, I saw the tweet. Come here. Come here. Um, Champ. <laughs> Champ got a mohawk. Patrick got him fired up in there. <laughs> Can you see his That's mohawk? Since we got him on, you got a. They arrived in San Antonio today. You got a message for Dawn and her team as they get ready for the the tournament. Yeah, go get them. Go get them. We'll be cheering for you guys. So, Champ Champ brought us good luck today. We'll be cheering for him in San Antonio.